We shouldn't even be in here. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. <sighs> what is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. God. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. <sighs> he brought wine. Classy. Poor girl. Just unbelievable. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Get it together, beauty. Be strong.
Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. stalking it doesn't just stop by itself trust me i know about this firsthand he'll keep trying to get closer and closer his stand-in for snow is gone now so the next step closer what is it it's <gasps> crane He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. 
Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Thank you.